name is Ibert Brain and today we are talking about Starboard Pro, but more precisely how to optimize your project so that it's lighter. So there's many ways to optimize it, I'm gonna walk you through some of them. So when a project is very heavy, sometimes it's because it's too long. So one way to make it lighter is to split it, and to split it you can do some project management. Of course I have a full video about this subject, so check it out because I'm not gonna cover it in details, so I'm just gonna mention some stuff. So in project management you have the option to split, and this is gonna split your project in half from where your cursor is. This is very useful when you have a project that was supposed to be like 5 minutes and actually now it's been like 50 minutes of footage and you're like, my computer is going to die. I'm going to split that into two 25 minute boards, for example. It's not exactly like if you're extracting a scene and giving it to someone so that they give it back. It's really just, I'm going to split it in half, make it lighter, okay? So split is one option. The other option is to actually make that file lighter. So you're not going to split it, you're going to keep the same length, but you're just going to make it lighter. To do that, one of the most important things is to get rid of unnecessary drawing. Because even if you hide a drawing in your folders, in your file, in your, in your elements, the, the file is still there on your computer. Like Harmony is less of a problem with that because Harmony is usually scene based. But in Storeboard Pro, you have like sometimes storyboards that are an hour long. Like a whole episode is 25 minutes of images. This can be very heavy. So it's always important to remove images as much as you can when you don't need them. The quick way to do this is to hide all the layers that you don't want to and that you want to delete. You hide them, like hide the eyes. And then you go into your scripting toolbar and in there there's a very useful script that's called delete hidden layers. Mine is already inside my toolbar, so I'm not going to put it again. It's right there. I'm going to press OK. And when I run it, it's going to say the following layers have been deleted. So all of the, these layers, they just have the eyes closed. So then, boom, it's deleted. It's going to make my file much lighter. Of course, I'm going to control Z now because I actually need my drawings. <laughs> it's that's one. The other one is if you have like a bunch of layers that are called rough and you know that they're rough so that you don't need them anymore and you want to get rid of them, then all you have to do is go into the scripts again and there's one script that's called delete layers already in my scene, right? So I'm going to press OK. And then when I run this one, you're going to choose which layers of the same name throughout your scene that you're going to delete. This is sometimes useful if you have heavy backgrounds and you know you're not going to need them anymore, you can delete them, or big complex rough, because the rough is often heavy because they have lots of strokes and everything, much more heavy than the finished drawing, so get rid of them when you can. So this is kind of like a manual cleanup, but I like that it's manual because then I control it. And the last option that I offer you is more of an automatic thing, but as with every automatic thing, you know, it's, it's good, but sometimes it's not perfect. So always have backups before you optimize automatically your project. You can save as your project, like make a backup, but then go to file and go to optimize project. So when you optimize project, you're gonna be faced with one of the following options. You're gonna have remove unused elements from the project, flatten all drawings in the project, reduce texture resolution of all drawings in the project. So what do these do? I'm gonna to explain to you one by one. So remove unused elements from the project. So as you create your storyboard, you will delete the panels and the layers, update your drawings, like unlink sound and so on. So some of the files, you're not gonna use them anymore. Just like in Harmony, if you delete the drawing, it's still into the drawing substitution. But in Storeboard Pro, there's some items like this that even though you deleted them, they're still kind of in Storeboard Pro's memory somewhere. So this is going to remove them because they're used for backup and they take up space and they do increase the size of your project on your hard drive over time. So this is going to remove all of these little pesky hidden ghostly layers. I recommend it. <laughs> then flatten all the drawings in the project. This be careful because sometimes flattening all the elements might change the way they look to you. So be careful because it's going to flatten all the brush strokes and the pencil lines that you have in all your vector drawings in your project. So if you have like strokes that overlaps, it's going to flatten them. So they're not going to be editable anymore. Merge together as a whole drawn object. Important to know that the strokes that are drawn with different colors, they're not going to be flattened together. Very important because, you know, they're different colors. You cannot flatten them. And then reduce the texture resolution on all the drawings in the project. This is, you know, going to do exactly what it says. It's going to reduce the unnecessarily high pixel density of some drawings. But as I said, this cannot be reversed. So make sure you have a backup of your scene. You cannot undo it. You cannot undo it. It's going to also clear your undo cache because this also takes space. Yeah, that's it for if you want to lower the size of your scene. I really recommend it and it's going to help you a lot in your production. Have a good day. Goodbye.